get my hair done on Friday so I know they're going to do it professionally is what I mean to say so technically yes I am going to wash out this pre poo and like clarify it okay so that's all I'm going to do because I had some product build up so I'm at least going to get the dirt and the flakes and get to det detangle my hair and if I do see that I need a slight little trim I'll do that so when they actually do wash condition deep condition and put whatever treatments on my hair they're supposed to and do it professionally it's going to be done and it's not going to take as much time as if they had to pre-poo it, then clarify it, then wash it up. No. So, it's going to be a minute before you get some more product reviews. However, there is one new product I do want to talk to y'all about. And I didn't put it on this week because I knew I was going to get it done on Friday so yeah but I have used this before so, and I'm off camera so I'm like okay let me talk about it get it out the way and then go into the products that I actually do need to talk about so this first one which is gonna be a moment before you see some more new ones <laughs> I'm not sure if Y'all have heard of this? You probably have not. Maybe you have. It is the, well, it says it's new. Cream of Nature. Pure Honey. And Scalp Refresh Cleansing Scalp Treatment. Oof. Hopefully this damn camera can focus. And it says it's for dry scalp and protective styles. It has... Pure honey, it has conditioning aloe, cooling mint, no sulfates, no mineral oils, no silicones, and no petroleum. So this is what it looks like. I actually do enjoy the feel of this on my scalp. I really should have just put, you know, this on and worked it through last week or whatever. Ugh. Because if y'all know, that gel, the one I just used, I know I'm not going to love every product, but focus camera, focus, stop moving. I hate <laughs> that gel. Mm -hmm. What the is it? My camera. I don't know if it was off-centered or what, but. When I say I hate it, at first I was trying to give it a chance. But that Shea Moisture, that Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Gel, that's trash, okay, for me and my hair. It, at first it felt like it was moisturizing, but over time, I want to say day one hair, okay, but I should have known, like, it, it started to slightly unravel some of the twists, then I had to use some more gel and retwist it to where it was supposed to be, and then, even then, it was just like, First of all, it gave no hold, no moisture. It felt like nothing. Like, I put nothing on my hair. It wasn't drying at first. 
But literally by day four, it was like, I don't feel no moisture. It feels like I need to wash my hair like I put nothing on it. And, uh -uh. and then day five, it was like flakes galore. Ooh, I had so much flakes that I was like, oh, hell. <laughs> okay, it's one thing for my hair to be dirty. And I'm like, all right, okay. Usually I don't get no flakes until like day six. And then I'm like, okay, well, the next day I'll just wash it anyway, so I deal with it. No. And you. No. I felt a Friday night, it just felt dry. I did my hair Wednesday, it felt, started to unravel, felt dry. And usually if I get flakes midweek, I will grab this. Because there have been a time, I was like, what can I do to stop the flaking? I would use this. I knew I was going to get my hair done. So what can I say about this? This works. This will, if you got any itching, it's going to stop all of that. It's going to clear it up. Not only does it have mint, which is a humic, well, mint in it, which is a cooling agent. It has aloe, which we know aloe is moisturizing. Honey, which is a humectant. This has a very, baby, you can smell the mint and refreshing agents in this. When I say it is minty, it's minty. This also has castor oil in it. It's got shea butter in it, okay? But that, it, it looks like it's got, oh, okay, it does have maybe a little vinegar in this. It's got glycerin in this. It's a good product. So this. It's like a good refresher for your scalp. If you feel like you're going to have some good. I do recommend this. If I had to use this. This week. I probably would have had no flakes. But I knew I was getting my hair done. And. Because of the flaking from that gel. And the no hold. And I had to use so much of it to get hold. I'm at least. Got my pre-poo. And then I'm going to have to at least do the bentonite clay to get all that clear. <laughs> then I'm just going to let it air dry and maybe put a little heat protectant on it to kind of like sit under the dryer or blow it out because I don't want to have a wet head <laughs> just so I can put it up in a bun or section my hair off so they can do it Friday and it looks nice and presentable because Friday is my birthday. Um, that's it about this. Let's get to the next because I could keep talking and it might be long.